a lot of you guys say this is like the best financial advice that anyone could ask for if you're in your 20s and if you're in your 30s. Well, at that point, you're just fucked. It's just call quits on any life goals you might have. And 40, fuck, you should probably already be dead, I, I, I guess. Oh, damn, this is actually blowing up on Twitter. 70,000 likes almost and 6 million views. Oh, gosh. If you're a guy in your 20s and you don't have a Lamborghini, you should actually sit down and have like a serious discussion with yourself as to why you don't have a Lambo. Yep. Huh. You know, I, I've never really thought of it that way. Best financial advice I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, and if you're in your 20s and you have a house you're, or you're, you're paying rent for a house or apartment, you have bills, you have cars, you have all those things going for you, but you don't have a Lamborghini, you got to really just take a seat, take a breather, come back down to reality, look yourself in the mirror, and really contemplate your life and what the fuck you're even doing. Like, hello, are you are you even living? If you if you ha if you don't have a Lamborghini in your twenties, are you really living life? Oh, you want to buy a house? You'd rather invest in a house. Chat. You guys would invest in a house. See, that's what's keeping you poor and stuck. You'd rather take that money and invest it into a home and invest it into things that would give you proper returns. No, stupid. Get a Lamborghini. Why do I feel like this guy watched a couple Andrew Tate videos, got heavily influenced and indoctrinated into the Andrew Tate mindset, and was like, holy crap, I want to go viral too. And I guess it's working because Twitter is blowing up this video, and you guys recommended it to me, stream. So, hey, it's, it's kind of genius. People just verbatim carbon copy things that Andrew Tate says or try and do it with a different twist by saying, hey, if you don't have a Lambo in your 20s, don't got a Ferrari in your 20s. You got to really sit down and contemplate everything in your life. You're going to school still trying to become a doctor, a dentist, a lawyer, things that society needs to play a role in functioning properly. You want to be a doctor? Hey, guess what? No, you need to get a Lamborghini. And if you don't have one, you're just a fucking idiot. I realize now that it's so incredibly easy and there's so much money out there. Ah. And 200 grand relative to what is out there in circulation and what you can grab, especially now with AI tools. Wait, what you can grab? Did I hear that properly? What you can grab? Especially now with AI tools that you can live to what is out there in circulation and what you can grab, especially now with AI what you can grab what does that even mean what does that pertain to like you're just going out there and you're grabbing money here grabbing money there grabbing money everywhere like it's just like that's the problem with these things and he's talking about money out there in circulation there's so much out there that 200 grand is really not a lot yeah it really isn't when you're talking about the accumulation of all the money that is in circulation. Yeah, of course, no brainer. But to go out there and say that it is easy, that you can just go and grab it, but to then go and use the example that you can just go and grab it here and grab it there like it's a, it's a bank heist that you're not going to get arrested for. It's so vague and ambiguous. That's the problem with a lot of these financial advice guys who are younger. I'm just going to say it, okay? I went down the rabbit hole when I was younger, when I was 18, 19, 20. And the problem that you'll see with a lot of these guys is they'll be very vague and ambiguous. And this is nothing new. The whole, like I said before, uh, I'll teach you how to get rich by doing this certain method or certain type of business. It could be like drop shipping or NFTs or crypto. And then what they do is they're like, you have to check out my course if you really want to learn the step-by-step -step process. So you go, you check out their course, you buy it, and that is where they're secretly making the majority of their money. It's not actually doing the things that they say they're going to teach you. It's them selling you a course. And I don't know if this kid sells a course. It's not to say that all courses are bad and scams. It's just the way they're portrayed in very ambiguous with this kid's mindset. I'm going to go grab some money and get myself locked up in prison for the next 30 years. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. But to be giving people life advice in their 20s to take 200 grand and buy a Lamborghini with it rather than invest it in a home, a business, real estate, where you're going to get more returns on that and it just makes more sense than a depreciating asset. 
it really makes you question these guys who are giving financial advice in the first place to go out and get yourself a Lamborghini. If you don't have one when you're 20, then you should probably question everything that you've been doing in your life up until this moment in time. <laughs> oh my God, we're such bozos. Leverage AI. Go to chat GPT. Start asking it for money or asking it to make you money and bada bing bada boom you're grabbing money here grabbing money there you're grabbing the whole bag of money everywhere it's just falling into your lap like never before and what you do with that money is you go and buy a lamborghini because you're just not cool if you don't have one. Oh, you want to put a down payment on a house you want to pay off your debts with that no dummy no see that's thinking small that's thinking small have you not watched The Wolf of Wall Street? Have you not seen Andrew Tate TikTok videos? You just go out and you grab another 200K. So you have 400K now. Seriously, gosh. <laughs> oh, God. What do the comments say here? Bro, these people can't be real. If anyone in the replies agrees with him, you need to DM me and send me 100K since that's chump change. Otherwise, your reply is invalid. Also, he's being 100% serious. Stop being lazy. Watch the rest of my content and learn something. I know 18-year-olds that came from a poor family and make 200K a month. You can laugh all you want, but you're the only one pissing your life away. They do anything they want. You don't. Who's the loser? I want to try with Kat says, My spouse yesterday, we're not where I thought we'd be. We can't even afford a house, and he's in his 40s. We had to sell ours and move to... For work and now we can't even afford a new one so we rent like everyone else right now a lambo let's stop being poor is great advice yeah i don't know about you guys i'm just so tired of the andrew tate carbon copy wannabes it's like there's no originality anymore they just twist it up add a little bit of a different spice to it and here you go you got you got this it's so bad but this is the meta this is the trend yeah, stream, you guys are right. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta accept it. I I I gotta hate to love it and love to hate it. It's that whatever. Okay, so what what is this? Why would she be friends with a guy? I'm serious. What are you going to get out of being friends with a dude? Like, if he's not gay and you're hot and I married you, me, obviously you're a good woman and you text that guy and if he's a high quality person cuz you are because I am, so you Oh, uh, okay. Because you're, as if you're a high quality person, because obviously, I mean, I, I, I don't know why I even said that. Clearly, you're a high quality person because I'm a high quality person. So you're only hanging around high quality people. You're not hanging around peasant, poor people, non Lamborghini owners, because if you are, then clearly you're not a high quality person. So uh, continuing. He must be as well. You're like, hey, me and Seb are going through a fight. You know, come over. I want to see you. What is he going to say? Yes or no? Can I move yes? Of yeah, because it's my wife. So it's like, obviously, if I picked her, she's a good woman. She's hot. Like, he's going to say yes. So why? What the fuck? Who even says that? Yeah, she's a good woman. She's hot. It sounds like a, like, uh, you're ordering food. Yeah, I, I picked her. Good woman. Hot. What the fuck? Am I missing something here? Like, it just sounds, like, so weird. It's a clip? Yeah, I know it's a clip, but still. And if he's going to say yes, then it's not even a friendship, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. there's something else behind. There's something else lurking. Why would that is called not being a high value man. Now hear me out. I know this might upset a lot of people who might be a fan of this this kid. I don't think there's anything wrong with the guy. All right. I think he's showing in this a lot of insecurities. If you're such a high value person to begin with, okay, and she has a friend that's a guy and you're friends with that guy that she's friends with and you get into a fight with your girlfriend or your wife and she wants to go confide or hang out with the guy or talk to the guy, that just shows your insecurities. If you have a problem with that, you have trust issues, clearly the relationship is not as, as close and high valued as it's made out to be. Am I missing something here? No, that's right. If you have a strong relationship, you shouldn't have to worry about things like that. Exactly. The thing is, I just don't get how the carbon copy wannabe Andrew Taters like this are coming out of the woodworks and people are actually enjoying this type of content and them themselves as creators are okay with just like mimicking Andrew Tate and not actually creatively making themselves different and trying to stand out. They're just like, okay, well, we see what works. 
now that Andrew Tate's arrested and he might be in prison for the rest of his life, hey, it's our time to shine, baby. Hey, you don't got a Lamborghini? Hey, if your wife goes and talks to another guy, that guy is the problem. It's not the wife. It's not our relationship together as husband and wife. It has nothing to do with that. It, the guy is no longer your friend. He's no longer an acquaintance. If she's going and talking to him... <laughs> Uh, what a weak mindset if you're a high value person like I just if you're a high value person that wouldn't affect you you'd be so confident in your relationship and it being stable no matter what rocky road there is that it doesn't matter if she talks to another guy because you have something that that other guy doesn't you have something to offer that brings to the table like this is insecurity as its finest and you see this with a lot of young guys I just I don't know 20 is still young 20 hell even 30 is still young to be giving any type of advice that's the thing like you should take everybody's advice with a grain of salt because most people are full of shit majority of people don't know what they're talking about because every single day the world is changing markets are changing businesses are changing you have to adapt you have to grow so you have to be able to take this information and then take it with what you will i would take it with a grain of salt to be honest with you or you know we could just take this guy's advice. We could get that 200 grand. We can grab it from here and we can just make that money. And we're going to we're going to get that Lamborghini. We're going to do it. We're going to we're going to grab it with our mind, our levitation Jedi mind trick skills forever. You have an amazing power of abundance inside you. Allow these affirmations to unleash that power and transform you into a money magnet yes listen every day yes for best results okay how many times now a day? relax close your eyes and begin to breathe slowly and deeply i mean this is eight hours i'm not gonna listen to the whole thing i just i can't but oh my god that was powerful i am a money magnet we chat stream we're money magnets now you just I'm going to listen to it later, I promise.